<laughs> People. We are back. Yeah. Very interesting morning today. Or whenever you're looking at this. The morning was nice. Yes. Burn team ladies really showing their stuff these days. I'm gonna shout them out. And we're seeing big things in the future for Burn team ladies. So. Chica, how are you feeling about your morning sessions these days? Yes, yes, it was nice. The ladies are, you know, they are getting more fit. They are getting stronger. Yes. Big up, Abby, man. We have England first. On the live. On the live, we have England in the house. As we say, in the his house. <laughs> yeah? So you're making up, Abby. And if you have not been following Burn Team Ladies and their exploits, feel free to go on the page and check them out. Saturday mornings, on Sunday mornings, they have their online aerobics extravaganza. The guys are just coming in second these days. I need to um, bash the guys at some point. I need a moment to bash at a certain point. But if you are looking at this on Facebook, like and share. And if you are looking at this on YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment. Interesting how England is first. It's nice. Yeah. So, I mean, the young ladies are really doing the thing. And as the start of the live, I'd like to make mention of what would be happening very soon a collaboration with Guyanese Fit Chick and Chica J. So we're bigging up Guyanese Fit Chick. Yes. I don't know if she jumped in. As soon as I said her name, I saw, you know, like she came on the live. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it is a collaboration between Guyanese Fit Chick and Chica J, Burn Team, and Can't Stop, Won't Stop, coming together to raise awareness of what is happening post-COVID-19 and what could be done we as a people coming together to do something positive, along with encouraging good health practices and vibrations. Yes. <laughs> You know, and as we're moving along, you know, we really want to encourage the young ladies for being positive. But the topic for today is the law of attraction. Yes. The law and laws that govern attraction. Very interesting topic. So as you guys are coming on, Feel free to place in the comment section what is the law of attraction yes. to you? How do you see it fitting into your day-to-day -day life? Feel free. It's point of view time. Yes? And before we get involved with the word or words, yeah. you know, we like to give people the opportunity to who is the opinion? We believe in point of view. It is physical fitness, mental fitness, emotional fitness. Yes. Chica J smile, sweat and shine. And Kylie's fit chick can't stop, would stop at no point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And it's good. And I think it, it is fitting that this take place because it, it's, it stems from the law of attraction as well. Yes. We want to attract positivity in our lives mm -hmm. in the form of people. And what I have noticed, we at Burn Team noticed when we have in these little talks that people have been going through some issues 
and uh, negative people entering into their lives and causing all manner of stress. Mm. Right? So I think law of attraction, this topic would assist us yes. in really focusing on how do we attract even good friends, yes. good partners in life. And if we are coming across a certain type of person in our lives, maybe we need to do some soul searching so that we will be able to better equip ourselves. Yes. Chica, what do you think about this law of attraction? Do you think it exists? It's real? It's imaginary? What do you think? I believe that it is real. I believe it is. Because um, it plays a very important part in our day to day living so each day depends on the thoughts that's what you're gonna get throughout the day we will be delving into it you know <laughs> me it's my section you know we have asia on the line big up yourself asia lion asia have no issues attracting anything <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so in the comment section feel free to place if you believe the law of attraction is a real thing Big up Royal Rennie's on the live. Yes. I do not know how long she'll be here for, so big up yourself. <laughs> Feel free to place in the comment section the link for the fundraiser coming up. Slide that in later on. So the name of the game is Law of Attraction. Do you believe it exists? Do you think that's a real thing? Yes. And where do you see it play in that part? in your day-to-day -day life. So we will be dealing with the definition. Yes. And we will start to exchange uh, points of view. Yes? Yes. Pick up Miss Jardine. <laughs> <laughs> Chica, what is the, what is the, um, the definition ballpark, I mean, on this law of attraction? Alright, so the law of attraction is basically, right, the belief that positive or negative thoughts can bring positive or negative energy. So it, it holds a, a part when coming to where you place your thoughts. That is, that is basically it. Yeah. The focus or point in which you focus upon. So we have Abby Message saying, board. yes, I need help in this area because I attract rubbish people. <laughs> Again, big up Abby from England. <laughs> England, that's, what, that's what's happening in England, Abby. <laughs> oh, well, we will be dealing with that as well, right? Because we do sometimes tend to attract negativity. And I think it's part of the universe. Yeah? Yes. So maybe, Abby, you are looking at it from a different perspective. So as you guys coming on, Chica, mm -hmm. please in the comment section, do you believe that the law of attraction is a real thing? So the definition yes. for them and those is... Right. So it's just simply the belief that positive or negative energy attracts pos sorry positive or negative <laughs> thoughts attracts okay. positive or negative energy that's the ballpark definition right so we will be touching on the definition and we'll go into some of the laws of attraction yes what laws we have we have we have manifestation. All right. Mm. We have magnetism. We have unwavering desire. So we are running it down. Just calling it out. <laughs> yeah. Right in the meantime. Delicate balance. Interesting. Harmony, action, and universal influence. Manifestation. Chica, what is your view on manifestation? Um. So, my view on manifestation is like, you know, whatever you focus on, whatever you think about on a daily basis, it can come to pass. 
Big up Annie Miller on the live. Big up Ghanese Fitchick. We have Canada. We have Canada on the live and we do have England on the live. And again, people, look out for the collaboration between Guyanese Fit Chick, which is based in Canada, the tag team dance off aerobics kind of scenario that will be taking place at a particular point yes. in time. Yes. So we have Abby and Gail saying yes, they believe that, you know, there is a law of yeah. attraction. Yeah. Right. So manifestation was one of the first points in these laws. And I like how they use the word laws because I think the foundation of your thoughts should determine the vibration. Yeah? Yeah. Big up Candy Barbara on the live. And big up Andy. Yeah. <laughs> so for the guys who are now coming on, we have Abby in the house from England. Yes. We have Garnies Fetchick from Canada. Yes. And we have the team. So we have Team Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Bird Team Canada. We have Bird Team England inside. And we are now focusing on the, the laws of attraction. So Andy, feel free to place in the comment section. Do you believe the law of attraction is a real thing, man? Mm -hmm. Moving forward. So one of the laws we call is manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. She can believe that manifestation is actually thought coming to pass. I would go as far as to say where you hold your point of view upon a particular topic. Yeah? So if you focus your energy on negative vibrations, I think that that would be made manifest. Yes. So that's why it's number one on our laws of attraction. Big up Julie. And this came out of yesterday's topic. Mm -hmm. And Julie shared her issues with us. And you know, she's saying repetitively that she is coming across a certain type of individual. You know, and we need to now ask ourselves what are we focusing on? Big up Julie, big up Miss Bartholomew on the live. Yeah. So if you guys now coming on, we warming up. Yeah. We warming up the pot. <laughs> the topic for today is law of attraction. Yeah. And do you believe it's a real thing? Yes. Please in the comment section. If you believe the law of attraction is real, that's Sonali, that's Andy and Julie on the live alongside yes. Candy Barbara very avid listener mm -hmm. <laughs> yes so place it in the comment section so we are on law number one manifestation so people feel free to put in the comment section what you think manifestation is we have Asia land as well on the live pick up all this elves yes mm -hmm. if I could guess what she can drink in I have a giveaway. Guess what we drink? <laughs> Except Candy Barbara. Candy Barbara has a little uh, advantage. <laughs> right? So, manifestation to me is focusing your energy upon a particular thing that becomes manifested. So, it's thought, energy, okay. and belief. I would think that anything in your life being made manifest, it would be based upon your belief. Because it's one thing to think about something, but to put that energy of belief behind it was what gives it its fuel. Yes, yeah? definitely. Moving on. Yes. So next is magnetism. Oh my. Right? And we are like magnets. Yeah. <laughs> we are like magnets. I put in myself out one time with this talk, yeah, this talk up commerce in it. <laughs> <laughs> right? And just as we you know, everything in all each of the laws are linked, right? So what we do is attract what it is we have inside. You see that energy? 
<laughs> that we give out based upon our beliefs, based upon our thoughts, we attract it. You know how magnets are? Yeah. We look at me like that. I'm just people, people. <laughs> you see? You know how magnets are, George. We all are. So we have the message board. <laughs> And you saying it's yes, it is can. because what you feed your mind is with that is what you become. That is the law. And Michael Lewis is saying yes, I do believe in it. So pick up Michael Lewis. Is Michael Lewis? Yeah, Michael Lewis is. I let me see if I'm seeing the correct Michael Lewis, but I. So yes. Michael Lewis, you could give us some. Where you're from? Big up Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis is actually someone who is with Boom Team for sales rep. Big up yourself, Michael Lewis. <laughs> now, if it's sales rep business, you know, feel free to place it in the comments. You know what I mean? Welcome, man. Yeah? So the law of attraction is the name of the game. Yes. Message board again. Yes. So now you say law of attraction is so true. Whatever your thoughts, energy, and words are, is that what they attract? Truth and in fact. <laughs> I've been saying her magnet needs fixing. <laughs> well, Gail, we're going, to, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be dealing with that. Yes? So, the second law is magnetism. I think the word is self explanatory, but yeah. not as self-explanatory as we believe it is. Let's say you yeah? No? Right. So, what is a magnet? Right, so in, in general science or chemistry or whatever, you know, subject you all did concerning such things, <laughs> the magnet attracts metal most of the time. So you get a magnet and you know it, it sticks against a metal surface, surface, yes. metal surface. But notice when the polarity of the magnet is changed and you try to push it together, it pushes itself apart. Mm -hmm. Abby, this you we have so we're going to start to touch upon our, we're going to touch upon <laughs> this thing all year. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Moving amicably. Yes? Yes. Then we have unwavering desire. And she can run into these things. So we still want magnetism to deal with. I hear you moving along eloquently. Yes. So, um, when you used to play with magnets before, you know, you know everybody had magnets. You have magnets yes. for fridge. fridge and all these nice things. When the polarity is reversed on a particular magnet, it tends to push the other magnet away, right? So in this life, for people as Abby and Julie, we coming into toxic relationships. It is true what Abby is saying is that her magnet needs fixing, is that you need to reverse your polarity. We'll be getting into that. Tell all it is my section. <laughs> yes. Right, we have now unwavering. Wow, that is a chica. What's your view on, uh, on that law? Unwavering desire. Number three. So you know sometimes it is desire something. Oh my word. You have some goals. And you really you, <laughs> you want it bad. Remember when you spoke about desire? It was sexual desire. Now this is desire to oh, want yes. more in life. People. Right? Your desire to have a business. Or your desire to, you there, know. Oh, yes, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> your desire to be the best that there is out there. So we have their Corneg, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, right? From one of our international nations. So, Mr. Derek, you know, um, feel free to place where in the world you are. Mm -hmm. And we could best, you know, deal with the communications or the translations <laughs> as it come about. Yes. Unwavering. Desire. Desires. 
this is something that is lacking in society. The reason why I would say that Chica said it very nicely when, you, when she said, you have a goal. Some people have a goal to lose five pounds. <laughs> right? Simple things. Some people find that a simple. Huh? But they waver in their desire for it. Mm -hmm. So maybe they need to train four days for the week. They need to address the diet, which we do in boxers. <laughs> right? Um, and you need a particular desire. Because it gets hard when you're not seeing it be made manifest. So look in the order in which it is written. Manifestation, right? Magnetism. Mm -hmm. And then no unwavering desire. Yes, that is without doubt. Right? So saying it, confessing it is one thing. Yeah. You need to believe. And the interesting thing about it is, you need to act as though it is there, even though it is not there. Yes. So the only thing I know that sounds like that is faith. So I don't think we have that on our board, but I truly will place faith as having that type of belief. Yes, pick up Charlene Muhammad on the life. How are you? Long time I ain't seen. Yes, the topic for today is the law of attraction. So if you believe the law of attraction is a real thing, just go down in the comment section and click yes or no, type yes or no, if you believe that the law of attraction is a real thing. So we roll call t today, tonight, this morning. Whenever you're looking at this live, we have Abby from England yeah. in the house. Mm -hmm. We have Guyanese fit chick from Canada inside. Yeah. And we still waited on one of our members that is from somewhere far. <laughs> <laughs> we are on magnetism and then we are on desire. And wavering. On wavering. Mm -hmm. So these are the laws of attraction that we need to implement so for those who missed it, the recap is number one. Manifestation. Manifestation. Number two. Magnetism. And number three. Unwavering desire. Yeah. So these are the three laws. We have about seven. And these are the three laws that, as we say, I would say top three. And the top three, I would say that faith the belief in what you are thinking and confessing mm -hmm. will determine your magnetism, drawing that thing that you want, and then the manifestation, seeing it come to pass. Yes. And interesting, we as Trini, because this you know, Trinidad we born, you know, we always have a certain level of belief when coming to something negative. You doesn't realize how much we disbelieve what we say when we are angry and when we are talking about something negative. Yeah? Yeah. So in the message board, in the message section, feel free to place what you desire most, what you need to attract to have fulfillment in 2020 going into 2021. It is so yeah, yeah, she can sort of smile. Yeah. And Charlene is saying, and be thankful as though you already received it. Very good, Charlene. And that will lead us on to now <laughs> the other point. Yes. <laughs> Delicate balance. And as you know, Charlene mentioned being thankful, you have to appreciate what we, you have in the present. Hmm. Yes. That's something hard for us, eh? Because even as we're looking at the pandemic and what, what is happening, yeah? Some of us are not even thankful for, as we say in training, we have a slang saying, half of a bread is better than none. Um, we, not, we, we tend to neglect that area of being grateful and being thankful of what we have received. Yeah. Whether it be little or great, 
and that affects again the manifestation of the thing and the magnetism of that thing so people we want to thank you all for jumping in all in all <laughs> click share on that button now click the share button right click the share button so that we can move forward you know tell your friend tell your enemy <laughs> tell your friend enemy. So, so charlene mm -hmm. is saying live in the now not the past or the future and michael is saying that he's always thankful yes grateful living in a state of gratitude is something that we need to exercise now yes. abby we have abby from england we have Ghani Switchik from Canada and we be thinking about, you know, Abby made it noon. Abby was first. Yes. Right? And Abby is saying she needs to adjust her magnet. <laughs> the polarity is what we speak of. Yeah. So message board we have Gayani Switchik. <laughs> She's saying I want to attract successful people. Oh yes. We all do, eh? So, the nice thing about universal principles or laws of attraction is that people who need to attract money, these principles apply. So, we were more speaking on relationships, yeah. but we need the finance. So, it is even applicable when speaking about money as well. Yes. So, if you're looking at this on Facebook, like and share. <laughs> And YouTube. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment. Lovely. So for the guys and girls, this life is an international life, boy. This life well versed, man. Yeah. The topic is Law of Attraction. <laughs> so please in the comment section, do you believe the law of attraction is a real thing? Please in the comment section. And to them and those who are now coming on the live, what's up? We are seeing <laughs> Mom Lestra oh, on Lord. the live. Well, people, you all could send some hearts for my mother that is on the live right now. So you could send some hearts and stuff. Mommy. <laughs> the topic is Law of Attraction. So for a quick recap of some of the laws for you guys that missed it, we have Manifestation Manifestation Magnetism Yes Unwavering Desire Papa And now we are at Delicate Balance And we have the message board and they are saying Yes, I agree with you All faith As the Bible says Faith without work is dead. So we must understand the meaning of faith. We'll get into that. <laughs> so, you know, people throw around the word faith a lot and they don't understand the meaning of faith. <laughs> so, delicate balance? Yes. What is your view that, on delicate balance? No, Jesus? balance is very important in life. Very yes. important. And lion does always be stressing on being balanced. Being balanced, <laughs> balanced in everything. Yes, mm -hmm. and with balance, when it is you are balanced, your energy will not weave as well. And in order to achieve that balance, that is where the appreciation of the present, being thankful in the present, helps you with your balance. It helps you maintain a more positive energy so that you can attract hmm. positive message board and mom yes. let's try saying yes we need to always be thankful oh yes mommy well, my mother is rooted you know so <laughs> you know it go so andy made a good point when he said faith we we use the word faith very loosely in our society yeah. We use the word faith and we do not understand what the word faith really means. Yes? So in the comment section below, I want to hear what you guys think faith is. And I will give you my take on what faith is. Because we believe in point of view and listening to each other. So for the guys and girls who 
you know? Yes. Have their points of view. We can get into it. It is the laws of attraction, people. Yes, it is. Laws of attraction. Yeah. Charlene is saying positive thoughts and interactions. That's a definition. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. Right. So I would like to hear your guys take on what faith is, mommy. We could, we could touch them up, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, what their view of faith is because I think that this is the missing link in really getting what you want made manifest and when we say manifest we want it from thought into present time mm -hmm. right the magnetism is something that brings things from thought to present time Abby is saying I'm always positive when getting to know someone but right Abby we 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 are now rewiring Abby's polarity tonight, this morning, or whenever yes. they're listening to this. And All right, Abby. Yes. Go ahead, Chief. Go ahead. And you see now, you may say that you have a positive thought. And sometimes persons, they, do, they don't think about their subconscious. Oh, now Chica get his philosophy for a boy. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> on the surface, and that's why they say unwavering desire. Right. So you may say, well, a desire to get a good man whatever the man is right whatever good man is you hear man. these ladies fellas <laughs> all they keep cool and they stay here with me right ladies. no you know that's what some people say i yeah. want a good man i want a man who's successful understand that right but in the, your subconscious you wonder if the man went and play her and you you see your desire is now wavering and you don't want unwavering desire. So, if it is to say I want a good man or a good woman. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right? And then when you find him with the man, you, say, hmm. um, you find the person looking too nice, you find it looking too good. <laughs> so, really? they have too much woman around them. You know, you know, so, so in your thought process, you're really thinking positive. You're saying that you're thinking positive, but. You're not thinking positive. So, Burn Team, we have to help Abby. Abby came on first from England, and we are going to help Abby. <laughs> we are going to add value, Abby, tonight, this morning, or whenever you're looking at this. Abby, what's the time in England? We still carrying the same time? And, Gail, fitness check here, let us know what time it is. I think the clock is the same in Canada. Yeah? So, Charlene is saying, See everyone and everything as one. We are all connected to one source. Interesting. Let's not get into that Michael source. Michael was saying, <laughs> so true. I don't know which point at what point. And I'm just saying, I've heard people say faith is not believing, it's knowing. Okay. And then Charlene is saying, love, rule first and foremost. Right, so we want to help each other now. So faith is the key. We, we need to stress on this. When you look at magnetism, we're looking at unwavering desire. The first three laws, right? Manifestation, unwavering desire, and magnetism. We need to understand that faith is the, the key. That's why we need to understand what mm -hmm. faith is. Firstly, yes. we're not talking from a religious standpoint. We're talking from what faith really is. Definition. Right. So, so mm -hmm, message board. We are getting the time. Abby is saying it is 11.30 p.m. <laughs> Abby, <laughs> Abby is 6.34 here. <laughs> Pick up Abby, so you have he to stay on. He is saying 6.30 p.m. Right. So in Canada, it's 6.30. We are at 6.34. And England is at half past 11 midnight. Abby, hold on to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So faith, the definition of faith is faith is the evidence of something hoped for. And the belief in something not seen. So you have to do as if it is there. When you hear these kind of things, it sounds on the borderline of crazy. Eh? <laughs> Substance of the things hoped for and evidence of the things not seen. So to, to act like that, <laughs> I imagination. So let me tell you, 
when we were younger, sometimes in life, they, they told us stop imagine, using your imagination after a certain age. You have to really have your imagination on point to think as if you have when you don't have and act as if it's there when it's not there. So this is the key now in the magnet, you know, the magnet effect and the manis manifestation effect and also the unwavering desire. First three. And now balance that. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Balance that. Yes. So Abby, things that can help us with this type of balance. Right? We helping Abby all there. Abby, we shout to we boy. All of us we helping Abby. And all the ladies who want to attract that type of guy. So the la uh, mostly ladies on the line, right? Yes. So, ladies. you know, you're looking for a partnership or a friendship to start or something substantial, right? And faith is the thing. That's the key so we understand faith. Now, what are some of the things we do? Because faith is a muscle. So this is basic and conventional nutrition, you know, we gotta plug it in. Yeah. Faith is a muscle. And we are seeing Andy saying, faith is the key to all things in life. And Charlene went on to say, balance, cause and effect. Yes, yes, mommy. This is my thing, you know. I'm here for a little while. Right? Yeah. So people, we helping Abby, we helping Julie, and all the ladies on the life who want to attract a particular guy. We're gonna do a little exercise. So what happened to the guys? No, well, it, well, it will apply both ways, but because we have mostly females. Right. So, um, as I said before. <laughs> yes, he is. What? And he's saying it sounds like a pastor. Uh, so my pastor. <laughs> Don't say that my mother on the live and you know she's going to go crazy if you say that. Right? Um, faith is a muscle. And if you do not use the muscle, it atrophies. And I think a lot of us, our faith has atrophied. Right? If you're not using the faith, yeah, that's like somebody who lays in a bed all day and does nothing. After a while, they can't come off that bed, you know, the muscles have no atrophied because they're not using it, they're not, they're not exercising it. So this is burn team. So you know, I will find some way to fit in <laughs> the training in the thing, but it is a muscle, people. So some of the things that would help, Abby, here's what we're doing, pen and paper, are we ready? Abby, and all the ladies on the live, let's try this exercise. Place in the comment section, in detail, what type of guy you're looking for? And guys on the live, which is one guy myself, place in the comment yeah, section. We have Andy and Michael. Andy and Michael, right. Place in the <laughs> comment section, in one word, what type of woman you're looking for. So listen to this, people. We're going to help each other understand the law of attraction. We are on delicate balance. Yes. So place in the comment section, what kind of guy you're looking for? One word. And fellas, Please in the comment section what type of young lady you're looking for because I realize it is and then for people who are in business place in the comment section how much money you want to make <laughs> so Charlene is saying change mindset focus and meditate Charlene you're on top of a mountain these days girl long time it's something nice man something very refreshing yes long time <laughs> Chica. Yes. So while you guys are typing what type of guy or girl you would like to attract into your life, no, this, this applies to business partners, this applies to friends, what type of, some people attract kind of crazy friends in their life. What type of friends, what type of job, law of attraction goes both ways. If you're looking for a job, type in the comment section what type of job it is you're looking for. If you're looking for monetary scenarios, what is the number you want to see in your bank account this, this, this year and next year around this time? I want that number. All right, so we have Mom Lestrade saying, faith is a victory to success. Aye, aye. Wake up yourself, Mommy, you know, the words of the wise. <laughs> right? 
So we are helping all the ladies on the live today. When we are speaking about the law of attraction. So Abby, I'm waiting Abby for you to place what type of guy you're looking for, what you're trying to attract to you, right? Charlene is saying you attract what you are at that point. That's that is of you, yeah? Some people say we attract ourselves and maybe we need to change ourselves. That is a valid point as well. Shelly is saying, fate is ordained just like your destiny. What boy? Your name will be staying here long. <laughs> yes. The ordination of fate. Destiny, I say. Yeah. So again, we must understand what faith is and how it applies in the law of attraction message board. Abby say, um, saying compassionate, understanding, and all the good stuff. All right. I'm going to touch you up, eh? <laughs> you know, I'm coming to you. Because we're trying to get Abby correct. We're straightening out Abby in England today. But in Team England, we fix it in England today, tonight, when I'm only looking at this live. So, so Abby, since Abby was the, <coughs> the first person to say, that is not enough. <laughs> and what is all the good stuff? That is not you enough. You need to be more... And that is our issue. Yeah. We need to sit down with a pen or paper or the notepad on your phone. Because I don't know people who use pen and paper. We just use <laughs> pen and paper sometimes. But the notepad on the phone. Listen. This is the problem. We need to be specific. Mm -hmm. And when I say specific, maybe if I bring a 90-year-old man, that we, I could get a 90-year-old man with that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I sure I get a 85. A 63, oh a 74 old man. What is the what is the with this? Compassionate. Compassionate. Understanding. Understanding. And all the good and stuff. And all the good stuff at 70. <laughs> now it's sounding funny, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's it's sounding funny. Hmm. When we are looking to focus our energy on something, it needs to be specific. Remember, I say call a number. Because if we just say, I need more money. Yeah. It could just be one dollar more. One dollar more is more money. If somebody's saying, I need money, what question is ask them? How, How much? much? Mm -hmm. We have Gail saying, loving and ambitious. Abby is now saying, nah. So what if it's we ask, what? Right? So we're doing a simple exercise and the exercise will show that we are not specific enough. Abby, you need to write down the color of his skin, the height, the age. And here's the problem. Here's the, pro the other problem. So we're helping Abby and all the ladies to attract. Right? Now listen. When you write down your list, ladies and gentlemen, her age, the ethnic background. We're going into detail, even how much money she's working for. She, everything that you would like. You know what we just do wrong? We keep it to herself. She's going home with loving and thoughtful. <laughs> Good, right? <laughs> Specific. We just keep it to ourselves. When you make your list, email it to your friends. Send it on WhatsApp. All your day you are looking for. Because reality is, you alone sending out that vibration. But then you don't know who and receive the information. So if I know Andy looking for a five foot four dogla individual working X, and he gives me the list, and I watch him on phone like, I know somebody, I know somebody who, I know yeah. Andy. Listen to me, I see in this thing. Let me... <laughs> Let me hook it up. <laughs> because maybe the circles, the, the pond you swim in, yes. the person is not there. If you're working in a particular field, you find your circle small. Yeah. And even COVID, Very your circle small. even smaller. Right? So it's good for every... Hello, 
And then you need to be specific now in why you want the man. Mm. Are looking for a husband. You hear what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. We're too vague. Yes. I'm looking for a, a friend, a business partner, I'm looking for a hundred million dollars. So affirmations would be on my list. And when we say affirmations, we say we get up first thing in the morning and last time, last thing before you go and sleep. Because the last thing you, you know what I'm saying, don't go to bed angry, is because your subconscious feeds on that. Your subconscious mind is you. 90% of your thoughts is from your subconscious mind, not your conscious mind. So you want to leave that in your conscious mind. So when you sleep and you rise, your subconscious is working on bringing that to you. Message board. Yes, message board. We have Mom Lestra saying, mm. we need to pray and ask for guidance also. Michael is saying he wants a loving, committed, honest, ambitious, goal-oriented, and a kind-hearted woman. What's her age? I know I could find somebody, something like that, at right. 65. Abby is saying six feet plus, please. Oh my word. And you Charlene is praying for a man of faith and substance. So again, we need to be specific in what we want. I remember a young lady, I, I was walking down the road, and she pointed, I want that guy. <laughs> what? No, him. Oh, is it? She don't know the guy. <laughs> you have to be specific enough because you do not know from where it is coming. Yes. Let's say you're doing some business and you want to do some collaborations, you want to expand your borders. I might know someone who could assist you, but remember, I don't know. You need to put it out there. You know, we just put all kind of things out there. Yeah. Negative, negative things we put out there. Women, men, we put negative things about the guy or the girl out there on Facebook, on social media, that type of thing. Right? And we're not putting what I really want out there. Yeah. Yes? Put so it on Facebook. I mean, a lot Facebook. of people, you know, looking, looking for. Yes, looking for. Make a list, you might find the man right on Facebook. <laughs> right? And again, we pray. And as mommy said, we, we pray. Charlene said, praying. Again, prayer is just the, the conversation you're having with the person or the entity that you are praying to. So we have a different mix of religions on the life. So, regardless of whom you're praying to, prayer is what we would say, the conversation. What is the works? So I'm saying that the works that you're doing is writing down in detail what you're looking for. Works is sending it to your girlfriends. Girl, here. Yeah, nah. This is what I'm looking for. If all you see it, call me. Because I'm looking, so I need all your eyes too. It's sounding strange. Yeah. That is putting work in, you know. When you're looking, and ladies are looking for jobs. If you do the same thing, how you hunt job hunt? You send out applications to different jobs because you're hunting for jobs. If you just write an application and put it under your pillow, he gets no job. Right? Moving along in our point form. We have yeah. been happy today, tonight. <laughs> it's half past 11. We might be later than that in England. Yeah, but she's at work. That's why. Okay, she's cool. At work. Good. We're keeping you up. Right? So, Michael <laughs> is saying I'm 26. So, maybe from 24 to 30. Nice. Right? So, we're giving you all a little bit of value when coming to how you go about. So, it's easy to just say, these are the seven laws of attraction. attraction. It's easy just to go and just list it and sound all nice. But we need to give people applicable moves. So one, write it down. I'm talking about the man hair texture. We're talking about the color, the skinny shape of his face, his build. Look at this. I have heard loving, compassionate. The man could be 300 pounds. A loving, compassionate man. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right? But we need to be more specific yeah. than that. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. 
His build. Yes. I hear him six foot and up. What's his build? Six foot how many pounds? Six foot two hundred pounds? Six foot one one fifty? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because just being compassionate and loving is not enough for females. We know all yeah. Because yeah. if I tell Chica, a nice compassionate guy, but here happened, he treats 65. Again, the eyebrow going from here to on top she head. <laughs> yes? Because Chica short and petite, so you know, she, she checking, uh, nah, uh, right? Right. Um, Abby is saying, I'm 39. Oh, she's still going to be 39 on Tuesday, so hey. 45 to 55. And Shardine is saying, yeah, speak it every day into existence. Yes, believe And Mom Lestra is saying, what we want, we may not get because that person may not need one like you out in your age group. Right, so very valid point from the ancient and ones. Abby is saying she likes her meat well done. <laughs> so we have harmony as our next law of attraction. Chica, your views yes. on harmony. <laughs> harmony. You know, so harmony is like, you know, together, oneness, right? And we, Charlene mentioned it earlier that we are one. <laughs> we are all one. Charlene, your name called yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we are connected to you know, persons, and we may not even recognize it. And you know, we need what they will say to be in harmony with the universe. Aye, aye, aye. And if it is you're not in harmony, aye. right? And so that's why the balance is important. Aye. So in the comment section, feel free to place what is harmony to you, so that we could get a, a broader view. Because we say words, huh? Yeah. We say words, but sometimes the meaning kind of elude or evade, it yeah. evades us. So I would put harmony is when you sit down and you listen to a well-organized orchestra. Harmony for me is when you sit down and the orchestra is playing such in harmony, the beauty that comes out of the music. Another harmony for me would be nature. You sit down on the beach and you watch the waves roll in. It waves in in harmony, in sync. So I would say harmony, another word for harmony would be in sync, synchronization. And that is an issue we have. So we have a view or we have a goal or we have something that we need to be made manifest, but we're not in sync. <coughs> we're not in sync with the thing that we want. Mom raised a point where the person in the age bracket you're looking for may or may not be there. But remember your overall attraction magnetism to be made manifest is based on core values and principles that you are projecting out into the universe so that you can now receive what you are projecting. So if the center of the relationship you're looking for, or the job you're looking for, or the money you're looking for. So back to relationships, because that is what the ladies want. <laughs> right? Loving and caring. Guess what? Go find somebody to be loving and caring to. And nine out of ten times, I would say go find somebody who don't like you. and be loving and caring to them. Because if you do not sow that type of seed, you cannot reap that type of seed. And it is easy. Here why I made, uh, this is another point. That is another point they went to one time. In, in, you know, in getting that, and you want it quickly, eh? right? Sowing that type of seed and i see law of attraction action sorry action action right no the reason why i said somebody who you know don't like so we know with our people on work don't like we it's easy to find them it's like you could throw okay you don't like me you don't like me <laughs> right 
it amplifies the potency. You know when you drink a nice wine and the wine is so potent. <laughs> yes, he knows about this, right? It is easy to be kind, caring and loving to people who are kind, caring and loving to us. It don't work like that. So to the ladies who are finding themselves stumbling upon guys that you know, it's wrong attraction, but like, where will you come out, right? <laughs> because we are not sowing the right vibration. So go, Abby, on work, look around and work and see who don't like you, and buy them lunch, and just say, hey, I, I bought this for you, I'm going for lunch, what, what do you want to eat? That person going and f be f so afraid to eat that. <laughs> but, that is the start. Remember, action, action, action. If you want to lose weight, you need action. If you want to get stronger, action. If you want to learn a particular craft, action, action. Action speaks louder than words. So we're going to the message board. But Abby was saying she wants a guy with 200 pounds of muscle. Like what? <laughs> Abby, you know what they look like? <laughs> Charlene said, love, love, love. Right, Gail responded, pure love. Um, Abby said, dance, when you were talking about family and sing, she said, dancing to the same music. Nice. And Michael is saying, it is a peace of mind. Example, he likes to watch the sunset and the sea. It relaxes him. Nice, nice, harmony. Abby, yeah. here, why not you say, hmm. <laughs> Abby, here now. No. You can't just, again, if you're talking about muscle, you had to talk about fat. So when we're talking about that individual, you know how 200 pounds look like? <laughs> <laughs> Raw pure, wow. <laughs> right. Whew. right, so it's good. So we say 200 pounds and you have your muscle to fat ratio because then you're looking for a guy with a certain physique. So now you have to go look at physiques and say, okay, I like this physique, I want a physique like that. And that is interesting because then you have to ask yourself, honestly, when you see a physique that is, let me say 10% body fat, and I lean as hell, right? And a guy, 10% body fat, then you need to look at you. Will I be able to attract this type of guy? Ah. Hmm. So it's not a, it's a two-way street, people. Yes, it is. Especially when you're going down the road of physique as well. I want a woman pretty, you know, we guys, we want the Pocahontas or the whoever. Hmm. You have to ask yourself, is Pocahontas attracted to this frame? And be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. So we are on action message board? Yes, message board. Mom, let's try saying this could mean having ideas alive and understanding each other in most cases. Abby is saying nobody likes me because they don't know how to approach me. Be smooth always. I see problem too and with the Abby today. Say, that's just the outside. Look at the inner. Abby, we can't see it. I, no, Charlene was Charlene, saying. Oh. Charlene said that's just the outside. Abby. Abby, if you come across unapproachable, Abby, you be limited here. Big up England. <laughs> Abby from England. If you are not approachable, when you attract any person which is like, mm, yeah, no, I ain't going there, no, <laughs> next way. <laughs> and that is what we were speaking about when we, the polarity of the magnet. Mm -hmm. When you flip the magnet on the other side, it doesn't stick together until you flip the change of polarity, you flip it over and then it comes together. Abby, you need to be a little more approachable and let's get rid of that kind of speech about be smooth. We only be smooth in the gym. <laughs> we don't be be smooth. If you're trying to get... If you're trying to attract a nice yeah, guy, you, you have to now smooth. prepare the soil. Mm -hmm. Prepare the soil, Abby. Yes, so we are on action. And we see that action is playing a nice role in us getting to the points yes. that we want. Moving along. Amicably. We have universal. Influence. Oui. 
She can buy. She can always be on universal influence. All right. So another thing too, you see, when you have people around you, your energy affects their energy. Key and point. <laughs> I have a boss or a supervisor that grumpy all the time when they reach the work. That energy is transferred through all the department and the department now is grumpy because the head is grumpy. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so I always like to use the, the word universal principle. And when we're looking at universal Message board. Message board. The message board is just... Yes. <laughs> but Charlene was saying to prepare internally and Abby went on to say, I am approachable with the males. It's the females. <laughs> Abby, well, it seemed like he really wanted to attract the males, yes. not the females. So now remember, mean. message board? Um, Charlene is saying that transmutation. Yes, oh, that sounds like a book. <laughs> That song is like a Napoleon Hill or hey, that song like a Napoleon Hill. Every time I hear the word transmutation. Yes, that sounds like a book. Transmute. To transmute is the same as you know made manifest. Yes, to kinda transfer the thought, belief into the manifestation of what we want or desire in that person. Yes? So Abby, remember that you don't know if it might be Chica. Hey, you know, Abby really says she, she, she sent my list here and this guy looking like, hey, he looking, he, made, he looking good on paper. We should, you know, give my interview. <laughs> you know what I mean? Burn team interview and Abby next part. Um, fella, what going on? Uh, yeah, with this list here. Yeah, anyway. So yes. You know, you need to network because the pool you swimming in, he may be in another pool and then somebody not knowing what you're looking for when you're friends, they will say, hey, you know, my girl looking for a particular guy. So it is universal influence. Yes. So in coming into 2021, you had to kind of scratch all some of the friends here. Because maybe the people in our lives, the, the, the influence is affecting our frequency going out. Now, think about this, people. Our mind is a receiver and a transmitter. When we mix that with faith and all the laws, and then we turn it on, and we transmute that vibration or frequency out and we are surrounded by people with that negative energy you find that the transmission cannot go out now let me break it down a little better we in the car and we driving and we calling home we dial the number the call not going through in Trinidad, we have high tension wires that go across us. So, according to where the high tension wires are, we have to wait till we come out of what we call a dead zone. Certain place on work, we can't get the call properly because the call breaking up. The frequency, we're not connecting the frequency until we go to another location that is not a dead zone where then we can make the call. That is exactly what you're doing. The universal influence are the people around you that influence you negatively. And when you try to put out your frequency to attract, to make manifest what you want, those people are blocking you. So you need to sit down with your list of friends and ask yourself, who we keeping in 2021 and who we ain't keeping? So that we can now move forward. Message board? Yes, yeah, so Charlie you was know saying, transference of similar energies perception and projection yes what we perceive again our perception yes so people this is a nice topic boy so for the ladies and gents on the live you know if you're looking at this on facebook 
like and share. <laughs> and if you're looking at this on YouTube, man, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment. Right, so the ladies and gents presently on the live that looking to attract whatever it is you're attracting, remember that these laws, and we'll put it in the comment section as well for you guys to go back and take it in. But you must connect this to this affirmations and believing exactly in what you want helps that projection. It helps with opening your bandwidth. You need to write it down. You need to send it out. Post it all. You know, people will be posting mad status. Post it all in your status. Yeah? Because you need to let it go out. And it's not that you're looking hungry, you know. You know, somebody says, that will look like you're far running. No, mm -hmm. that's the problem. Remember, you are searching. If you're looking for a job and you're already hunting, Gone are the days when we think that we could just sit back and things come to us. Yeah. There was an old mentality that if you just sit down and hope and pray, it will come. No. If you look, you got to go there and find that job. You got to go there and get that money. You got to wake up early. It has no religion on this planet. could tell me you could lie down on a bed and pray to whoever and lose 20 pounds of fat. So until there's a religion that whoever the deity is, right? that could just lie down on a bed and do nothing and things happen. But look, let me know. I sign up. <laughs> Message for Charlene is saying, send it out in the universe and it will come back. Yes. And then remember, people, it's not going to come like magic. It takes work again. Yes. You might have to go through some people who may or may not fit the bill. And you try and you fail and you fail again and you fail again and you fail again and after working at it you will find it hopefully <laughs> because faith is the evidence of things hopeful and the substance of things not seen so you see how it boils back down to total craziness but it's understood if you really apply it correctly so people in the comment section feel free to place what is the topic for the next real talk chica eh. <laughs> charlene where's the topic for the next real talk abby next topic for the next real talk canada stand up where is abby yeah yeah tell us what is the topic for the next real talk live extra so this is real talk extra the original Real Talk Live is on a Friday night at 7 p.m. So this is Real Talk Extra. This is the extra, right? Yes. So we want to know what's the topic for the next Real Talk so that we could get the things rolling. Suggestions. Chica, we suggest suggestions. Mm -hmm. but I Mommy's still on the live. Mommy sleep. suggests um, we have Julia on the live quietly. No, we have... Um, Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael on the live. We have Ghanis for Chick. And as we are here, we intend to do a collaboration with Ghanis for Chick, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and Chica J, Aerobic, Smile, Sweat, and Shine. A collaboration Canada alongside. <laughs> Abby is in fetish. Abby, we did that. We did that. Already. Abby, we did that already. Next one. Find some else. <laughs> Right? We are going to be doing a collaboration and it is post-COVID and we want to burn team right now guys as you're on the live. Christmas is coming and we want to bless a family in need. We want to do a voucher for them because of this COVID-19 for the Christmas. So all interested parties, you could inbox the page and if it's canned goods, Anything you guys, you know, want to donate, it could be tangible items, you know, money is not the issue, right? But we will, in fact, be doing a voucher from Massey Stores to bless a family for the Christmas time based upon what is happening with COVID. And by extension, we want to get involved in doing this on a regular basis alongside Guyanese Fitchick from Canada, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Yes. yes. <laughs> right, so. Charlene said inner work, yeah. but we're not sure if. Um, 
they now look interesting. Yeah. Yes? And becoming a better version of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Right? So we're still waiting, we're listening to the suggestions, Charlene said, in our work, that might be becoming a better version of ourselves. How do we, you know, become right. a better so version? she's saying, how to work on yourself on the inside and flourish on the outside. Inside out. Yes? Better version, becoming a better version of ourselves inside out. Yes? Have you seen self-assessment? <laughs> it's good that people they know want to become more. Yes. Yeah? So becoming more. What would be the tag for that? Hmm. Come becoming more. What that would be? Becoming a better version of ourselves. I know that song is lengthy for you, eh? Have you seen that? That is too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. What? What? Self-improvement. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. That could work. Yes. And we're talking about inside out. So we would be delving into becoming better. Yeah. We're talking about mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. This is what real talk is about. Yes. Yes? So becoming more. So yes. what is it? Was it that? Was it, was it? Self improvement. Self improvement. Or a better me. How about yes, a, a better, better me. me. Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds nice. nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yes, yes, Michael. That's going on. We say yes, yes. So it looks like we have we vote here. This yes. is a democracy. Mm -hmm. so, so the team is saying a better me. A better me. Yeah. I like it. Well done, Chica. Cutting it down to size, as short as she is. Right? So, people, we want to thank you guys. Remember to all who Chica could drop the, um, the link to the YouTube page. Ghani's Fit Chick, please drop the link to your YouTube channel and your various Facebook pages. <laughs> yes? So, again, we want to reiterate from today. Moving into Christmas time, December, right, whenever you're looking at this, it would be ongoing, but as the time going here now, we want to bless a family in need. So if you guys even have or know of a family, well, I could do some work now, <laughs> right? Know of a family in need that really needs the help, inbox burn team page, and we have a WhatsApp button on the page where you could WhatsApp us directly with your information. So you want to do that for the month of December and then we are doing a collaboration with Ghani's Fitch coming up soon. But it, it should be extending into the new year. And the basis of it is raising funds for people in need post-COVID and beyond in different countries of the Caribbean. It's a very big project. Big up Ghani's Fitch she thinks very big. So you see, law of attraction, <laughs> right? I think very huge. Ika thinks very impossible. She has impossible thoughts. And um, <laughs> Gaidi's fit chick as well has those impossible thoughts. And I love people who think about things that cannot be done and we try to do it over and over again. Right? So interesting parties and donation of canned goods. Yes? for the Christmas. So we'll do a can good drive. So we're gonna do a split screen aerobic session. Ghani's Fitchik has her style. She uses steps and different things that you know gives you a different variation. Right? And we're gonna split the screen and we're gonna have a kind of like Canada versus shit, right? Yeah. That kind of thing. And we will be using that platform for people who wanna come on and Donate so we use any time for people to come on the live and make a pledge and say hey, I have two cans of this I have two cans of that dry goods So we would use this as the launching pad for dry goods so that we could Donate to people Going forward in this time Yes. So is your boy liar and the girl chica chi. The next topic is 
a better me. Big up yourself. Big up Canada. Thank you, Abby, for staying on. Um, big up England. Big up.